Hello there, everybody. We don't get around Genesis way too often. So here we are. Welcome to Echo the Dolphin. And we're going to start out. This game is one that I owned as a kid. This was one of the very few Genesis games that I owned. There's this little area that you start in right here, this tunnel. If you go left, you can put in a password. We're not going to do that. That can actually result in scary times if you're careless. Or you can go right and start a new game. But yeah, Echo was one of the few Genesis games that I owned as a child. And I never got very far in it. But there was something about it that was always really attractive to me. It was just always really stark and uh, kind of brutal in its portrayal of nature in a way that uh, many games aren't. And uh, kind of ties into when I was doing Odell Lake the other day. Uh, this is this is another nature type game I'm going to be doing. And uh, it's always held a fascination for me. I've never beaten it. So I'm going to be beating it for the first time. But this game, uh, like the best games, this game is demanding but compassionate. It's very hard, but you get infinite lives. So there's no reason we ought to not be able to get through this. So we're going to go ahead and speed on into a new game. And here we are. It's happy times with our pod. And we have a few commands we can do. If you uh, push A, you can do a sonar. You can talk to people that way. If you hit them with your sonar wave. I love the way the text floats onto the screen when you talk to someone. Then it scatters and disperses when it goes away. It's, it's crazy. And if you hold A, you get, if you hold the A button... Your sonar will come back to you, and you can get a map of your surroundings. It can be handy from time to time. B button does a uh, charge attack that'll uh, that'll hurt minor enemies, and the C button kind of gives you like a running start, like like you can really get going here. What's what's the fam got to say? Come on, talk to me. Oh, ho, ho. that sounds like a challenge, Mr. Man. Hmm. Well, let's just see how high in the sky I can fly. Let's get a. Uh, Let's get a, a good little running start here. Start from the bottom of the lake and go. I'm sure nothing bad will happen here. What just happened? My family! Yes, my family is gone. I didn't listen in Dolphin Sunday School, and now the Dolphin Rapture happened, and I've been Dolphin left behind. <sighs> okay, buck up. No use in crying over sucked up relatives, Echo. It's time for you to get a move on. That's, that's what provides the conflict in the game. Echo jumps way high out of the water, and all his friends and all the ocean life get sucked out of the water, and it's up to us to find the cause of this terrible event. What kind of what kind of horrible structure is that in the background? It looks like a giant penis tower back in the background. What kind of awful civilization? What kind of awful things have people done to my family? It is up to me to find out. We're going to cruise on into what is going to be the first real level. Now we have an air meter. If we stay underwater too long, the top bar is your actual health. Your health will start depleting if your air gets too low. The bottom meter is your air. So if we just sit here, listen to that music. Listen to that. Listen to that synthesizer mood. It's kind of, kind of sad actually. Okay, see there, like a like a piece of air went down. And all you got to do to restore your air is pop up out of the water. And as long as you can, uh, as long as you can maintain air and not run into enemies, then you should be fine. But, uh, do you know what happened? Yeah, I was there, buddy. I saw the whole thing. Great winds of water. Yeah, they basically sucked all my friends and all the things I was going to eat for supper up out of the sky. But see, here's our little, well, that guy just died because he was dumb enough to go up to the surface. But if we, uh, use our little B button charge poke, we can take out jellyfish. And sometimes we, oh... Oh, our first real uh, challenging jump also. I like to use the C button for the charge that you get off of that. Later on, we're going to be forced to make some pretty extreme crazy jumps. But yeah, this is the first... This is a this is kind of a chill level. There won't be too many levels like this throughout the game. Oh, that sound. <laughs> I hate that sound. That's part of what makes this game so harrowing, is that... When Echo gets hurt, he makes this awful cry. Sounds like, almost like a Robert Randolph steel guitar lick when he gets hurt. Run through some kind of filter of hate and 
evil, and... Yeah, so as you can see, it's sometimes difficult to find your way around, but... See, mostly we're just involved with a bunch of jellyfish, but I see a, uh... I see a guy off the way here. Oh, hey, somebody, somebody's having a time. The time of their life. Hey, come here and talk to me. Come here, sir, 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 do you have information, sir? Oh, so, uh, you look like you got off kind of easy. Winds of water pulled me here. Winds of water, they must be talking... The jellyfish have no interest in me. So, clearly, we should, uh, pop up nose out of the water. Okay, anybody else in the neighborhood? No, this is a pretty big area, just with basically tons of jellyfish. Okay, and the deeper we get in the water, we're not always going to have the luxury of being able to pop up for air. Later on, we're going to hit air pockets. Or, we're going to need to rely on air pockets. This is a glyph. It's a barrier glyph. And in order to move it out of our way, that's kind of the basic goal of this first level. Is to get this barrier glyph out of our way. You can't go past it. The game won't let you. We're just going to charge our way up out of the water until we can uh, get some daggone air. There we go. Ah, life-giving air. But yeah, we won't always be able to rely on a big open surface of water to stick our nose out of. There are going to be several occasions where we're going to be stuck in underwater tunnels and we're going to have to rely on air pockets and creatures that can produce air for us. I am not getting very far. Where do I need to be going? Somewhere down the way here. We'll start... Eventually, we'll start finding our way into... Uh, the lower tunnels, which is where we need to get. I believe there's a, uh, a whale we need to pay a visit to who can... Okay, I've, I've had... Yeah, see? Oh. I'm trying to spend my time not getting hurt, so... Oh my gosh, just dead end after dead end. Goodness gracious. And if you start running out of air, you'll start running out of health, albeit without all the crying and stuff, so... Let's see, uh, nothing really down here that we can rely on to... See, it's really easy to get caught up in a, uh, really easy to get caught up in a thing like that. Why don't we, uh, explore around the way? I'm really bad at this. Oh, this could make for some fun times, I'm sure. Where do I really need to go? Probably, ah, here we go. A big open tunnel. Okay, get ourselves a running start, and... There we go. And spikes. Yeah, what would a game underwater be without seashell-shaped spikes? Try saying that five times fast. See, sometimes you'll encounter pockets like this. And you'll be able to you'll be able to go up out of the water, but that doesn't happen all the time. So you need to learn you need to learn to find uh, organisms that can provide you with air. Like sometimes you'll find like bottom-dwelling clams and stuff. Not these. These are mostly background critters. And I don't think we're going to be finding anybody who can really help us with air in that way until we get to uh, the next level. The first, the first like, real challenge, the undercaves. This right here is just, like, a lot of wandering and stuff. With a lot of dead ends for a first level, also. No! Uh-uh. It's kind of hard to worm your way out of a spot, as you can see. And it's kind of hard to even sometimes find a spot. This is... There's no water down here. Okay, I need to get to some air. Oh, hey! See? Already, with the cruelty in the first level, I need to be super-duper careful. Because I could get myself hurt. Because you don't want to charge in these claustrophobic spaces. Ah, now I have found the key glyph, and it has passed on its, uh... Oh, Okay. The big blue. Okay, yeah, that's the whale that can help me. We'll find him uh, later on. The Under Caves will be the next level that we play uh, next time. Not going to get into that today because that's a whole other mess of potatoes, but uh, Mr. Orca Man runs off. But uh, this is the key glyph right here. This They they don't look any different from barrier glyphs except that they, uh, except that they don't spin around. And, uh, when the key glyph passes on its key to you, you have it, uh, pretty much semi-permanently. Until, anything down here? No. Cannot explore quite that far into the depths. Okay. We just want to poke our nose out of it. Ah, yes. I learned my lesson, that's for sure. 
So yeah, that key glyph, it's a, uh, I suppose you could say aura has been passed on to us. Oh crap, <laughs> that was a dumb jump. Uh, now let's see if we can make it out of here without biting the dust. Maybe if we stay near the uh, top of the water. I'm going to be kind of methodical because I'm pretty close to death, so... Okay, and pow! And if you end up, if you, like, jump on the land, you'll end up floundering until you either land where you want to in the water or you don't. So these jumps, it's good to get practice on these early. I like to come in from an angle when I can. See, I kind of used the land to my advantage there. That that helped out substantially. Okay, let's just let's just stay near the top here. I don't think anybody is going to catch up to us at this point, so I think we're safe for now. Yep, and as long as we can reach the wall, we ought to be gold. Stay gold, Echo Pony Boy. And when you take your key glyph. You just use your sonar and you knock away the barrier glyph, and we will be uh, we'll be doing tons of those. Later levels will feature multiple barrier glyphs, and uh, they're not marked in any way. You just have to figure out which one goes with which key glyph. But we're gonna swim off, and that's gonna do it. We get a password for the under caves and a brief description: a deep maze of caverns with no surface to the dry side. Songs of the sea sing of great danger in this place. So we're gonna go Ainka our way on to the under caves next time we'll do plenty of exploring things are gonna get pretty hairy down here in the ocean it'll get nuts so uh, under caves next time see you guys